Aries, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. Welcome back. So, we're a little behind the eight ball, but we're going to continue on. So, new spread, eh, eh, two, four, and six, with a Moonology card as the overall, the overall energies for the month. So, bear in mind that this is a general read, so not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Take what resonates and leave what does not. All, not. Also, excuse me, spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. You dig what I'm saying? Okay, so let's check it out. All right, Aries, what have we got? <gasps> Mm. Believe in the impossible. Blue moon. Ooh, yes. Believe in the impossible. Okay, so. <sighs> yeah, blue moons are. Blue moons. Um, all right, well, let's see what we've got here. Uh, just bear in mind, I do not read reversals, so you may see me flipping some cards over. But let's just reveal everything as it is right now. So, starting from the top of our pyramid, we have the Nine of Swords and the Page of Wands. Underneath that, we've got the Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and Ace of Pentacles. Coming down on the bottom, we've got the Devil, the King of Cups, Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Hangman. Alright, so... Wrapped up in... There's a lot of mental activity, a lot of... A lot of um, destructive mental activity happening as it pertains to your passion. Are you doubting yourself? A Aries, are you, are you doubting yourself? Or are you putting too much weight on something that is not fully formed? This also could be receiving a lot of information. This is like information overload if you put the two together. You could see a lot of information overload as it pertains to um, some sort of action that you may decide that you want to take, but there's a juggling going on here with the two of pentacles. And it is, it's heavy. It's heavy with the ten of wands. So juggling is definitely not easy but you understand that there is potential to grow here with the knight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles right behind it so it's not that you so you you recognize you recognize that there is an opportunity to grow if you grasp the opportunity but with the devil here knowing that this opportunity is nigh kind of ties it to this nine of swords here there's the propensity to get caught up in your own thoughts or or to allow it to take over hmm. let me get back to you with the hmm. with this king of cups here sitting next to the devil this is oh hanging on to it too tightly ah yes there is an opportunity that can be seized but if you hang on to it too tightly and you don't give it any air or give it room to grow 
right? Hmm. I'm, I'm getting a, a whole, keeping it close to the vest and defending come what may. Keeping it close to the vest and defending come what may. Perhaps you're defending all of this emotional content so that you refrain from having compulsive thoughts and actions about all of this because you've got the Nine of Swords up top and the Seven of Swords down here. There's a there's some there's definitely some transformative energy happening with all of this and then with the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles there is the potential of creating something new creating something very new now it's going to take a lot of work and it will also require you to look at with the hangman, it'll also require you to either turn something loose, let something go. Let something go, devil card. Or look at something with the page of wands. Look at something in a different way, right? Or better yet, believe the impossible. What's believe in the impossible. Tell me more about, tell me more about the devil card, about the compulsive thoughts, what, there we go, what information do we need to know about these compulsive thoughts and what advice do you have to put us on, or to put Aries, put us, put Aries. direction for success so already off top we've got the three of wands virtue this is waiting on your ships to come in this is a I have planted the seed I've germinated the seed and so now I have to take my hands off. Oh, the devil card comes back again. Take my hands off and allow the seed to do what it does. And then we've got the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Devil again, the King of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. So, let's flip these puppies around. Hmm. Yeah, there goes those compulsive thoughts again. This Prince of Swords, or the Knight of Swords here, is being depicted as a hacker, okay? Um, and I don't know of any hackers who don't necessarily, who Hackers have to think at the speed of light. They have to be mentally nimble and be able to focus, have a hyper focus on one thing, but also have the same, have a level of fluidity to be able to switch directions at a moment's notice, 
Right, so this is telling me that it's like you're waiting on your manifestations to come to light, but then there is also a an, an air of allowing room for spirit to do what they need to do because you have the nine of pentacles here so your funds are going to be in a good position but again and even in the same position this devil card is back along with the king of swords Because with the King of Swords, he's drawing conclusions on what has already happened. And even with the Prince of Swords, the Prince of Swords can only respond to what has already happened. And so with the Devil card here, and thinking on the different meanings that could go along with this card, about having a little fun, turning some things loose, um, a little bit of self-indulgence, right? But not so much that it winds up getting in your way. So, yes, the Knight of Swords has a lot of information. However, comma, the Knight of Swords has a lot of information over what he has already experienced, right? And what has been experienced up until now has been the Five of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So this, you can literally think yourself right back into a lack mentality if you continue to let this energy get the best of you. Because if you remain open and fluid and allow for these gifts to come in, you will be in a great physical position. But if you allow these thoughts to come in and take over and tell you what you're missing, what you need to hold on to, allow you, it'll, it'll cause you to have you looking at what you don't have as opposed to what you do. All right. takes us back to this hangman. Change your vantage point. Release what you already know. Surrender what has already happened. And be available. Be in a position to receive the impossible. away from what you know has already happened and be in a position to receive the impossible. All right, Aries, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other, and I will see you all next time. Bye now.